Hi, my name is Cindy Manning and I am an expedition leader with Lindblad Expeditions, uh, currently on the National Geographic Polaris in the Galapagos Islands. It was an extraordinary event we had this week. Uh, the ship was anchored in Gardner Bay, the northern coastline of Española Island, also known as Hood Island. The timing could not have been better. It was the right people at the right time with the right equipment. As we spent more time with the fish, we were able to look at the anatomy with more care and noticed that it started to look very, very different from what we were familiar with in the West. Primarily, the tail. The tail was, it had a point to it, which are the sunfish we're most familiar with on the West Coast, the mola mola, just has a very short tail all round. This one had a point to it. It was distinct. The animal did not have the spots that the western mola molas had. The amazing thing is that this is the first sighting of this genus Masturus uh, in the Galapagos and it's only the perhaps second or third in the entire East Pacific. When I first got news of this sighting it was it was very exciting. This is a very rare Species. It has been recorded in various ocean basins around the world, but the sightings are f quite rare. To the best of my knowledge, I had never heard of this fish being sighted in this region of the Eastern Pacific. It was absolute excitement when the email came through. What this might mean is when you have a new species appearing in waters where it hasn't been before, that is often indicative of a changing environment and certainly we know that the ocean is changing very rapidly due to all our impacts. So this could be an indication of that. With overfishing and with pollutants, we're seeing a lot larger numbers of jellyfish blooms around the world, and that happens to be the primary diet of this fish. That may be an indication that we're getting some range extensions as we alter the ocean. It's terribly thrilling to be involved in the sighting of a new species for Galapagos. It's not something you get to do every day. I've waited 23 years for this. <laughs>